Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Somebody asked this uh, question to me. Print your name thousand times without using any loop in your code. It means you cannot use for loop, while loop in your code. And then how will you do that? And somebody asked this question to that person in some of the really good companies and I was really surprised to see that. So, uh, I don't know. I don't prefer such questions for the interview point of view. But still you want to solve it. You simply write your name is equal to, let's see. I want to print Naveen 100 times on the console and then I'll maintain one more string over here that is let's say string s which is equal to let's see I'm a string any string that you can print let's see i whatever that you want to take it and uh, what you do you simply write s is equal to I can use s dot replace all right and then I'll be using replacing what I'll be using replacing i with i only 10 times okay it means one single i will be replaced by 10 different i so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like that and then i'll repeat the same statement one more time it means once you get this s again each and every i should be replaced by 10 i's so initially how many i's i got 10 then after that i'll be getting 10 multiplied by 10 so i'll be getting uh, 100 i's over here and then again I'll be repeating the same thing over here okay like this that each and every i one more time replaced with 10 i so what will happen initially it was 100 multiplied by 10 is equal to 1000 so now I'm getting this 1000 i's and these 1000 i's I'll be replacing with this name so what exactly I'm gonna do that s is equal to one more time s dot replace all I'll be using it and I have to replace i with what I have to replace i with name and let's see each and every name I want to print it on the new line so I'll be using backslash n and then what do you do system dot or print and then print the value of s once again okay so let's run it and let's see it is really working or not so I'll just go to the uh, console and then on the console you can see Naveen got printed then uh, 100 times over here or 1000 times over here like this <laughs> okay but I don't know this is something really a good um, a question or not but yeah this is how you can do that if you really want to see that let's put a debugger here in the debug mode we will try to run it debug as java application so you can see name equal to Naveen and s equal to i it means each and every i is means this particular i will be replaced by 10 i's over here so uh, okay execute line number 16 and now you can see that the value of s is equal to i 10 times and then each and every i will be replaced by 10 i's one more time right guys so initially we were having uh, this 10 i's so this first i will be replaced by 10 i's so 10 by 10 is equal to 100 i's will be there so when you run it again so now you can see that okay we are getting hundreds of i's and then each and every i will be replaced by one more time by 10 i's so here you can see that thousand i's we are getting it and then again you replace with your name so that is what s is equal to what when you run it completely uh, times over here like that so this is just a trick over here guys i really don't think so that okay it's a really good interview question but replace all internally using for loop only it's a kind of loop only internally that is used by java but here i'm not using any for loop or while loop in the code so with the help of replace all you can use that okay if someone is asking you these kind of questions please uh, use this trick if you know any other trick by using recursion also you can do that uh, let's see who writes the best uh, more creativity just try to put down in the comment section and then let's see what are the different funny answers for this question thank you so much thanks for watching Naveen Automation Labs